Loud oh, now they give us uh, subtitles. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter. But then, something unexpected happened. Oh. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to the stream today. I don't like my ears. Let's go ahead and start that recording up. Uh, I haven't decided quite yet. I've been thinking about it. I haven't quite decided if we want to start a brand new game or if we want to continue the one that we did whenever we were just trying the game out. We didn't get that far into it, so I'm thinking maybe we'll just go ahead and start a new one. Plus, I forget exactly how long the how long the beat had this game clocked for, but I know it wasn't all that far. I'm going to check it again real quick, actually, just because I'm curious. How long to beat Shrek? how long is shrek 2 uh yeah i mean the average across all playstyles is only six hours so i mean it's not all that long i think we'll just go ahead and start a new game and then experience everything the game has to offer from begin to end we're gonna go ahead and overwrite the save game that we already started and continue Overwrite successful. Let's fucking go, dude. The ninth game that we're trying to complete here. Her parents invited her and Shrek to far, far away so they could meet the handsome man she married. While packing for their long journey, Shrek realized he still needed some essentials for the trip. What a wonderful start to the game man <laughs> then I need help game also seems awfully balls. quiet It'll oh it did journey. now it's getting and louder nobody wants to see me hungry why don't we just get some pop a you know ones with whipped cream there we go hopefully that's a happy cream. medium Ogres who doesn't love whipped cream dude sure what's wrong with a good parfait dude for snacks on your trip. i think shrek just needs to chill a little bit man has he ever tried a parfait before? Because parfaits are fucking delicious. I'm trying to remember. So, like, we didn't play all that long ago. But I've basically forgotten <laughs> everything already. The only thing I really remember is that we had that, that dragon section where we were, like, flying on the dragon and chasing the cart or whatever. I remember that, but other than that, I'm pretty much lost, man. We have to collect eyeballs because, of course, that's what ogres eat, and we need some snacks for our road trip. Uh, so, of course, we gotta, you know, beat up snails and steal their eyeballs, I guess. Because, <laughs> yum, dude. Snail eyeballs, it doesn't get any better than that, my guy. How, okay, so we switch with L1R1. L2R2 doesn't do anything, at least at the time but it may later. We have some control over the camera. That's good to remember. Uh, there's also a couple little hidden things that I remember. I think our best bet we decided was with the gingerbread man here to get on the other side of this hiding. Yeah, right there. Still don't completely remember what those are. I think they're like seeds, magic seeds for a beanstalk or something like that, maybe. I don't remember, man. My memory is not great but i'm pretty sure the game told us at some point so hopefully hopefully that'll be all right we also have the the dwarves that we can collect it's a weird like it's not weird it's just the game has like some collectathon elements to it but it's not a full 3d adventure game like something something along the lines of you know super mario 64 or banjo 2e banjo kazooie uh, Donkey Kong 64, stuff like that, you know? It doesn't really follow that same game philosophy. But at the same time, there is a lot of stuff to collect in each individual level if you're trying to go for 100% completion, which I imagine does something for you. I don't know what, but there's probably some reason to try and collect everything. Maybe an extra power-up, a different cutscene, no clue. It could be literally nothing for all I know. How many... Is there a way to see our collectibles? Yeah, okay. So, in this section of the game, we still have six more dwarves hiding somewhere. It doesn't actually tell us how many seeds there are in total, though. Just how many we have. What's the picture? I don't know if we ever found one of those. 
Do we actually have to find like a picture or is that just like a moment in time or something? I don't know, man. Maybe we'll find out. We're not going for like 100% completion here or anything though. We're just gonna try to, to beat the game. Oh, you're welcome, dude. So happy to help out, Mr. Dwarf, sir. Maybe, maybe in the future you can do a little something for me. Like, uh... Shit, I really don't know. Just give me access to your jewels. I mean, <laughs> don't the dwarfs and, and Snow White and the Seven Dwarves have, like, aren't they miners? Don't they, they have a bunch of jewels and shit? So, yeah, I mean, just give me your riches and we'll call it even. How about that? I mean, I did literally save your life after all. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, shit. Gingerbread man, excuse me, sir. You're kind of in the way, and I'm trying to get this this box over here. I don't remember why. Is there something up here? Hey, there was another seed. We couldn't really see it. Can we zoom out? There we go. That's better. Now we can see the world a little bit. Oh, this combat. Okay, so I remember this combat section because we damn near died here. We hardly survived to do this the first time we played. Uh, why can I not collect the thing? Okay. I thought the red ones were... The red ones must be health. I was thinking they were the, like, attack up ones, but no. Nah, I'm thinking I'm mistaken on that. I could probably get Fiona down, but if I leave her up there, she's not going to take damage. <laughs> Which, honestly, sounds more helpful than her dealing damage right now. Because we can just bust her out before we before we die or something. I do want to grab the health real quick, though, before we die. And, you know what? Screw it. I'll let her out. I'll be nice. She can She can join in on the fight here. What's the blue one? Maybe the blue one's the attack up. Hold on. Excuse, excuse me. Game. I'm trying to jump over the... He didn't even hit me. What was that about? Invincibility. That's what it does. Right as we... Right as we went. How did we almost lose last time? Maybe it was further in the game that I was thinking of. Because <laughs> that was nothing, dude. Someone help. Oh, there's a whole little section over here. I think we skipped this last time. Oh, it doesn't go quite as far as I thought it did, but still, there's a, a dwarf that we definitely missed before. We can pull him down, I guess. Maybe if I can hit the right thing. Stop kicking the fence, dude. <laughs> Hanging out can be fun, but that was ridiculous. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome, bro. I wouldn't really call that hanging out, but I guess strictly speaking, I mean call it more like hanging around maybe you know than hanging about don't get stuck guys come on you have an AI use it obvious trap is obvious you know in Spanish a donkey is called a burro I guess that means a little donkey is a burrito can we I think we can pick these guys up right do we have to flip them over first yeah and then throw a square dude Gaming gun. I'm remembering all the tricks. Jump what do you gotta say? To throw candy canes with gingerbread man. Oh, gingerbread man can throw candy canes. Okay, but he has a limited amount, or is it unlimited for him? Oh no, it's just the candy cane that he uh that he carries around. We can throw. Okay, They're got it, got it, got it. Crew. Who asked if I would let them through? I'll open the gate for you and your mates if you will bring me fairy. Okay. Which I think for this it wants us to use Fiona's thing, the time thing. Yes, 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 I remember. So we slow down time and then with that we can collect all the fairy. How long does it last? I see. Okay, so it's uses. We have eight uses left. I thought maybe that was like a uh, time. 
the the number above her her little portrait down there, but no. GG. Okay, so we got three pictures now, so that must be moments, not not things that we're actually collecting. Ah, thanks for helping out your wee fellow man. Fiona, I didn't know you had it in you. <laughs> I'll let it slide this time, Nate, but that's not really the way that's supposed to work, bud. <laughs> 10 Jack 1 and 15 to Dark Cloud. So I'll let it slide this time, but yeah. It's meant for votes on a single game, my guy. Because otherwise, someone could just, like, do that and then vote on 25 different games or something, and that would be incredibly annoying. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we got to draw a line, sadly. These are cookies that gingerbread man can throw to attract creatures and enemies of all sorts. Got it, got it. I vaguely remember doing this before. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. I still have a little bit of a cough from uh from the whole COVID thing. It's getting better every day, but hasn't quite stopped yet. Still kind of exhausted too, I've noticed. I mean, I've always been a tired person, so like, yeah. <laughs> I guess there's that, but um I feel more tired than than usual, I think. Guys, get the get the other cookie. Is there a reason we're trying to trap these guys and not just beating their ass? Wouldn't it make sense to just murder all the snapping turtles? It's weird that it's still giving us, like, the eyeballs whenever we kill stuff, because I don't think that's even counting towards anything at this point. Yeah, it's not even tracked anymore because we got the 18 that we needed. That was to help with spamming. I mean, it is to help with that, but it also you get more votes if you do the uh, 5,000 compared to doing, um, you know, because you get 25 votes and it's what, 250 or something like that for, for a normal one. So 25 times 250, you get a... I, uh, I don't remember how many extra, like five extra votes or something like that for, for free. Okay, I think we need to throw Shrek on the other side. And then... Uh, no, okay. Do we... What do we actually do here? I don't remember. Are we putting a explosive barrel on there? Maybe we're putting an explosive barrel on there. Sit that there. Oh, nope. Okay. <laughs> Not an explosive barrel. How are we getting past this again? Now, like I said, it's fine. We'll let it we'll let it slide this time, dude. No worries. We never actually like said it before on stream, so. So it's fine. I'll do the 10 and 15. Maybe we need a donkey over here. Damn it. Get back up there. Maybe I just didn't let him hop high enough. I mean, they don't seem to be hopping any higher. Ah, shit, dude. Okay, I guess we'll talk to the dude. We got the little hint dude over here. The mirror. Jump, then attack to do donkey's butt stomp. Oh, do we have to just kick it open? I thought we had to jump over it. I know you didn't just Oh no 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. We'll use Donkey's butt stomp to send someone else way up. That's what we're doing. Yeah. There we go. I actually don't remember doing that last time. Maybe we did, though, and I just don't remember. Okay, get you over here, and then... I don't know, gingerbread man, because you're small. Power! 
that did not work as well as I hoped it would. Maybe if we get Shrek, because he has a larger hitbox than the Gingerbread Man. I was thinking Gingerbread Man just because he's like, you know, small and light and shit. God damn it. Game, I'm trying. Game. <laughs> Let me. There we go. That collected everything. That's what I'm going for. Jack boots are mainly to help get it up, and then you'll be doing Jack 2 in some other game next. I feel it. I think Jack is one of the top voted for games at the moment. Jack, Metal Gear Solid 2, Kingdom Hearts, God of War. Definitely all, like, leading the pack, but... Currently going for Jack 1 and Dark Cloud, then Donna Mana and Jack 2. I'm excited to see more of uh, what Dawn of Mana will be like. Because from what I've read, it kind of killed off all of the RPG elements of the other games, which is weird. But from what I've played of it, it's still relatively fun. So wait, okay, we're not trying to kill the chickens, right? I think we need to pick them up and throw them in the soup? I should have I should have paid attention to what the hell she was saying, but I was not. Oh shit, that didn't work. <laughs> do, do we have to literally throw them? We can't just like sit them. Okay, that didn't work either. Uh, hint guy, what am I doing again? I. Excuse me? <laughs> I picked it up. And then I threw it. Right in the container. Why did that not work the first time? Jank game is jank, I guess. Oh, I can also just smash him over there. I like that. Let's do that. Okay, kind of when it wants to auto aim over there. I guess throwing is the more consistent way. Well, I say that, but then, you know, the one time we went to throw one over there, it just completely <laughs> bounced off for some damn reason. Damn it, don't hit him in the water. I'm assuming it's gonna respawn. Can I, don't glitch in there, please, thank you. Why are we even helping her out exactly? Is this another ogre favorite? Some some stew from Little Red Riding Hood out in the middle of the forest? With as far as we can tell, nothing but swamp water and chicken in it. Yummy. I do love whenever my soup bubbles green bubbles. <laughs> That's a mark of some excellent soup right there, man. Or maybe... Oh, man, I really should have paid some attention. Maybe it had something to do with her, like, squatting at her house. It's probably something to do with that, actually, now that I think about it. That would make more sense. Can't jump that high. Gingerbread man, excuse me. Can you maybe make it up that high? I mean, that works. I was trying to actually throw the thing, but we'll take it. How do I get those? Huh. I don't know. We're not trying to do a completionist run, so it's fine. We'll just skip them. But can't help but be curious about how the hell do we actually get those up there. He's not as strong as Shrek, but I honestly think I prefer playing with the Gingerbread Man. It takes like twice as many hits to kill anything, but he's got a lot more speed. He can hit faster, which I'm into. It's the red, just health, right? Or is this the one that gives us... This is the one that gives us the extra attack. So, <laughs> some red ones give us extra attack, other red ones give us health. Is there a difference in it? Probably. Oh, Different shade. Maybe one's like a magenta or something. I don't know, man. I'm not a colorologist. <laughs> I 
We got another egg. I'm assuming that's good for something. Save the dwarf, bro, too. We're only missing one. I don't. I know we didn't get them all last time, but I don't remember how many we missed. Would be interesting to see what happens if you actually complete an area. Shut up, donkey. <laughs> what are you even scared of? We literally slow have the power to slow down time, man. I guess maybe we could have jumped on those barrels to get the coins. Oh, well. We do actually want to collect some of the coins, though, because we can buy extra abilities and things later on with them. I do remember that. One of the, the dwarves or something runs a shop in the second level, maybe? <laughs> Why is Shrek just like running into the the fucking turtles instead of actually trying to kill them? How do we do the donkey kick? There it is, triangle. Excuse me, Shrek. If you don't mind, I would like if you picked up this box and sat it down right over here real quick. Then we'll take a little guy and up we go. All the fucking coins, man. I'm gonna be rich. Okay, looks like we got to get to the lever. Can we hit it? No, we probably have to carry the box over here. That would make sense, dude. I'm an idiot sometimes. Don't mind me. Can't help but notice there's also a stone over there. Do we just hit it with our... With our thing? Yeah, okay. How many, how many hits do we need? There we go. Let's go. For your honorable acts of rescue, my six brothers and I are eternally grateful. Okay, well, I'm glad you're grateful, but maybe could we have something in return? Not going to give us, like, any money or anything? Just, just your, your, well, whatever. <laughs> I mean, I guess it'll have to do. It's not like we can change it, but... Would have been cool if you guys showed your gratitude with a little something something. Careful, I okay. Is anyone able to pull the levers or does it have to be a big character? Because the big character don't or doesn't seem to be able to get up here. Okay, the gingerbread man can do it. That's fine. Grandma trailer. Grandma's trailer. Five cents a cookie? I'll take some cookies, bro. Grandma, it's me. I got the chickens for the soup, and I had help from my four new friends. Splendid. Now, if your friends will fetch me some blackbirds, I'll make them the best blackbird pie they ever tasted. Shrek's starving for some great pie, and an old oh, chicken now? wants to make it for him. But who will be able to bring home the blackbird? Fiona doll, it's your hero time. Oh, we got to do the mini game. We gotta sing and blow them all up. We got this, dude. Very pretty. Let's fucking go. Keep blowing up all these birds, man. For blackbird pie. Who doesn't love a good blackbird pie, after all? Oh, Let's go, dude! Every last blackbird- oh wait, there's still two alive! What? I call bullshit, I didn't miss a single one of them. 
I want all them blackbirds in that pot. Continue. What's the scrapbook? Just eyeballs, bra on the hood. So it's literally just like moments. 12 magic beans, the seven dwarves. So is that all we unlock for doing stuff is little pictures of our adventure? I mean, it's fine if it is, I suppose, but it'd be cool if we got extra power-ups or characters or, or something. 12 magic beans. I think we only found like four of them. <laughs> That's a, so we missed one or two. On a dark, creepy forest. And as if that weren't reason enough to turn back, an evil witch flew above them. Seeing the carriage horses were enchanted, the wicked witch turned them back into mice, for witches need mice for their witchery. The wicked witch then left a trail of cheese, so the mice would be led to her doorstep and into her boiling pot, because she is really wicked. I could tell you some stories. What kind of stories? Just how wicked is she? We have been rudely turned back into mice. Yes, I can see that. No, you can't. By Jove, that smells like cheese. Oh, okay, I remember this section too. This was kind of annoying the first time we did it. So we have to like escort them through the through the level without letting them die. But they just chase the cheese from spot to spot. Which isn't so bad on its own. But there was that one section where uh where they just like fell into the grave or whatever, even though we had already knocked it over. I really don't know what the hell happened there. I just remember like it was really annoying. Just the fact that like it happened. The section in and of itself wasn't all that bad, but it felt like they died for no reason. And that's what was annoying as shit. And we got Donkey that can knock over entire trees with his powerful kicks. Sorry, I can tell you. Donkey's apparently a god. But if you could scooch to the side. Donkey! Alright! My burrow blast! I also saw a chest up here. Hold on. I want the chest. Give me all the coins, please. I don't remember what abilities or whatever we could actually buy, but I remember that there was one I wanted. So I'm gonna try and collect as many coins as we can so that we can so that we can get it. Bye bye tree. <laughs> Realize you've probably been growing there for hundreds of years and all that, but uh get fucked. Can red throw stuff? My belly's not a kettle drum. No. How do we hit that thing? We don't have gingerbread man anymore. Oh, she can throw shit on the ground. Okay. So gingerbread man throws shit when he jumps. She throws shit just from being on the ground. These traps before someone gets hurt. Traps ain't shit. Oh, she can also, like, hover. Uh, no, not really. It looked like she might have been falling more slowly than other people, but... No. I think it's just a stylist choice, her putting up her basket. Excuse me while I get the chest again. Three blind mice, don't mind waiting, right? Now... Oh god, don't fall in the water. <laughs> god damn it, dude. How far back is it gonna take us? After we open the door, hopefully. The gate. Excuse me. Okay, yeah, it is. That's not too bad, I suppose. I was worried it was going to take us back to, like, the beginning of the section. 
Okay, so... If I remember correctly, the blind mice are just gonna walk across the river like dumbasses, so we have to oh, kick that yeah. down or they'll die. Oh, right. My I mean... Thanks for the heads up, but we kind of already got it taken care of, my guy. What's over there? Also, we can take Fiona down here with her time freeze thing. I guess it doesn't really matter, though. I mean, we can get some more coins, which I do want, but we don't have any uh, time freeze power right now. We're fresh out. I, w I would I would like why are you not picking up the barrel dude get fucked are these guys going to attack the mice or no are the mice actually helping us here I know the, the skeever looking thingies. I know those will attack the mice sometimes. But I don't know if the, the dudes will. It looks like they just completely ignore them. Too freaking easy, man. Let's go. I'm sure we're missing all kinds of secrets. Uh, red. Please and thank you. I need you to throw a thing up there. And then don't let the mice die. Protect them at all costs. I'm sorry, I didn't see that. Pull, pull the lever? Pull the lever? Okay. Can she not pull the lever? I guess not. That's... <laughs> a gingerbread man can pull a lever, but they can't. God damn it. I didn't see the mouse trap. Okay, red, that. Beat them up quickly. Grab someone else. Open the lever. Switch back to red. Hit the thing. There we go. Excellent, dude. Donkey. Kill this tree that's just trying to live its life peacefully out here. Can't have none of that now. Straight out of Dulac, baby. Is that not something on the ground? That looks like something on the ground, man. Like that we should be able to pick up or something. It looks almost like a pie. Is this the dude? Crazy this is the dude. Leprechaun Crazy Larry's shop. Leprechaun Shop. Shop. Let's go. What do you got, my guy? Plus three hit points. Double value coins. That's what I wanted. Okay, so we need to save up 600. Getting twice as much money for everything sounds excellent. And so far, we haven't really needed the extra attack power or health anyways, so... I'm all about that double value coin, man. Plus, the earlier you buy that, the better it would seem like, you know? Because you get twice as much for all the coins you collect, so... Yeah, Tin Man, what the hell are you going to do about it? How are you going to stop us? Oh shit, Fiona died. <laughs> uh, my bad, dude. I didn't realize her health was so low. I'm sure it's fine. We don't need Fiona here anyways, right? What does she do? Just slow down time. That's pretty, pretty pointless, pretty useless. Oh my god, I hate them all. Just stay back and continuously throw apples at them. That should do it. Oh, and she automatically switches to, to smacking things if you get too close to her. So you damn near can just, like, chill back and 
wail on stuff with her. No more collectibles? Nope. Alright, mice. Do your thing, dude. I don't understand how this mechanism works. They go in the pillar, acts kind of like an elevator for them for some reason, and somehow that, like, winds a clock forward, and when the clock winds forward, the gate opens? I don't, I don't understand magic, obviously. Take all the coins, please. Thank you. And a golden egg. And another golden egg, because why not, man? Did that give us money? Is that what the the eggs do at the end of the day? Is it is it just money? Where is everyone? It's a great question, man. Where is everyone? His wee little hand. Fill it with gold, or I'll oh, look. Will you pay me gold or not? Do we have to? Can we just kick your ass? Or I'll bite your kneecaps. It looks like we probably have to. Yeah, whatever. Pay the damn gold then. Making it real hard to get that six hundred I'm looking for, my guy. Uh, red? No, don't touch the trap. Oh, no. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I was trying to throw, not Great trying job, to guys. stand on it. Watch it. Oh, this is the section, too, where we, we hit some of these gravestones up here. And we knocked him over, I thought, but then for some reason one of the hey, the mice the died way. anyways. Donkey? Donkey? Okay, they're dead. That time we didn't get it knocked over. That time was on me. Although, I mean, it was also kind of because <laughs> this game is jank. Like we pressed the triangle button with Donkey. It engaged. He tried to hit it. But because the other characters were in the way, it didn't actually uh, activate the hit. Okay, and then red, throw your apples. Uh, that didn't work. What if I don't want to toss a rotten apple right now? I'm assuming we're going to need that right up here. Yeah, that's right, because they go in here. Are they good? I think they're good. They're not dead, right? Yeah, no, they're fine. They're fine. They're... God! <laughs> I didn't see the trap coming. We just walked right onto it. Son of a bitch. All right. Do it again. Throw a thing there, and then turn the damn camera. There we go. Donkey. There we go. Should be okay. If they die this time, it's not on me, my man. I wonder if we could just, like, speed run it. Because once you get to the checkpoint, I think the mice just, like, magically catch up. So I wonder if we just, like, ran past all that shit quick enough. If we could get down here to the checkpoint before they're killed by the, the skeevers or whatever. Uh, red. There's a lot of mouse traps over here. Okay, that didn't work. Why is that not working? Oh, God. 
Wait, what happened? Why did one of them die? We... What? It acted as if it got hit by a mousetrap, but we destroyed the first and second mousetrap before the mice got there. We were still trying to destroy the third one, but... Red has, like, no hit points, man. She dies super easy. Okay. Mousetrap gone. And gone. And gone. No mousetraps for them to hit now. We should be good. Cross the bridge. Gingerbread house? Is that where the gingerbread man's trying to get to? Is that where his uh, hot date or whatever is? Why didn't we all just fly here if that was an option? <laughs> oh snap, let's go. This is the one section that I actually kind of remember. Because <laughs> we had to do it like two or three times and it's one hit kill, man. If you touch anything, you're dead. And in the beginning here, it's not too bad, but then at, towards the end, some of the uh, some of the obstacles actually get really close together. Like you got to be careful with. Fog's definitely not making it any easier. I think I think we got this, man. Oh god, how much longer? I wonder if we touch something from the side if we die too. I don't remember that. Are we good? Not yet. Not yet. Oh god, down, left. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's great. We Gucci. I'm missing some coins, but it's fine all about survival let's go we're so fucking close man can't you just like breathe fire or something to stop the cart let's go dude okay first fucking try that time i think that took us like three tries last time man that was it was pretty bad on my part i'm not gonna lie <laughs> <laughs> it is easy being green. Save game, let's go. 17% complete. Okay, yeah, so we're already farther than we were whenever we first tried the game. Or well, like actual like how far we into the game is probably about the same, but percentage-wise, we're further because we stopped at 15%. Now, I wonder with the next chapter far far away here, is there another shopkeep, or should we replay Spooky Forest until we get to the shopkeep? I'm a green, mean, fighting machine. We didn't get that far Your into Far, Far Away for me to remember, parents, or to really find out. Hoping to impress them, Shrek even remembered to trim his nose hairs. After that minor stumble, the king and queen got along famously with Shrek, welcoming him with the tolerant love and affection usually reserved for pop stars and heads of state. You're not. King Harold made it clear he wanted Fiona to marry Prince Charming and wasn't so fond of his fat, disgusting, nose-picking son-in-law. Shrek made it clear he loved Fiona and no pompous king was going to blatantly mock his ogre girth. Fiona and Queen Lillian were eventually able to break up the fight. The king was approached by fairy godmother, 
who was a powerful provider of happily ever afters, and a lot of people owed her favors. She makes offers you can't refuse and can make people disappear, literally. You understand where I'm going with this, right? Because she could leave me sleeping with the fishes if I said too much, and mirrors and fish don't mix. <laughs> Trust me. In the morning, tempers appeared to have cooled, and King Harold offered to show our group around far, far away. Welcome to Far, Far Away. Fabulous shopping, great view, beautiful people. Why don't you make yourselves useful and be my deputies? Deputy Shrek, at your service. <laughs> Where you see this symbol, I need your help. Let's fucking go, dude. Saving the realm one deputy thing at a time. Um, okay, they mentioned fabulous shopping. So, do you have a magical item that makes all gold worth double? That I, for some reason, can buy for a relatively small amount of gold? I'm just saying, if I lived in a gold-based economy, I would probably try and keep an item like that, you know? It seems like you could get pretty stinking rich pretty quick. Especially for only 600 gold. Like, it's not a whole lot in the grand scheme of things, man. Collect the chickens again, I suppose. How brave of you to accept this brave chicken challenge. So wait, are we trying to get them probably in the pen, I guess, huh? We don't have a timer or anything, it doesn't look like, so... Just gotta keep beating the chickens until they go in. Sure, why not? Hey, Noodle. Glad you can make it, love. Especially since I think you're the only one that put a meme vote on this game. <laughs> and then it got picked. So this is, this is your fault, if anything. <laughs> Thankfully, the game's not actually terrible, though. So it's not... I don't mind playing it. But I also never expected it to win, <laughs> either, <laughs> like... I wish we could punch just a little bit farther, because picking them up and throwing them is so damn slow, man. So you're working and dealing with crackheads and thieves? Well, that sounds like a fun time. Those are my favorite kind of people to deal with. No, don't punch the chicken. Pick up the chicken. It'd be nice if all the other people here kind of helped out a little bit instead of just standing around. I'm assuming this game can be played multiplayer, which would make moments like this a hell of a lot better. Because instead of just, you know, them standing around being completely useless, they could actually help out a little bit. I have the box right here. One to four players, yeah. So everyone can control characters independently if they want to do. If you had a multi-tap and three friends to play with, at least. Even two people, though, would probably make the game a hell of a lot better. Too bad Noodle's not here. I'd make her play with me. <laughs> Noodle always has fun with that, Nate. Crackheads and thieves are her favorite thing in the world. Now, th they were talking about all this shopping, but I've yet to find a, a dude that I can shop with. For the family jewels. Can you collect the jewels before the nasty troll gets away? When he said that a giant troll was after the family jewels, I'm not going to lie. I thought they were talking about his balls. Like... <laughs> Especially given the game we're playing, because that's totally the sort of thing that I would see them doing, too. You know, that that kind of joke is something I could see them saying. 
You're so annoyed with today that you didn't even realize this person that was trying to slide stuff on the self-checkout out is the one who put a half gallon of milk in her purse a few months ago and isn't even allowed in there. Oh, that's great. <laughs> oh, man. So wait, are we... Are we supposed to be collecting the family jewels or... Holy shit, dude. We died in like one hit. Okay. We need 196. That's a lot of damn jewels, dude. So what, do we just follow him around as he drops them to collect them? Oh, damn, Red got knocked out, too. Oh, fuck. And now there goes Donkey. <laughs> uh... Okay, so no fighting the troll. Troll, ogre, what? Uh, troll, it's a troll. Shrek's an ogre. Can we, like, collect this stuff before he gets to it? No. So we literally just follow him around as he drops stuff. And hope for the best. Okay. I mean... <laughs> I guess that's fine. Just grab all them family jewels. Let's go, dude. Just cusp them in your hands. Play with them a little bit. I, I thought this mission, whenever they were talking about it, was going to be like, you know, collecting the jewels before the, the, the troll could steal them or something along those lines. Not just collect them as he drops them like after he already steals them I thought it was going to be like a race from point to point grabbing the stuff picking it up damn it <laughs> now we gotta do it all over again who's the fastest I wonder red I feel like red riding hood would probably be the fastest one Of course, Shrek has a larger hitbox, which would probably come in handy. Oh, there goes alone. Shrek and Fiona. And there goes Donkey. Good. <laughs> I, is there like a time limit or something? If we If we fail again, maybe we should just stay really far back from him. Because the one-hit kill thing is kind of gnarly, man. Especially whenever there's three characters you can't control at any given time. Like... Doing great, sweetie. Thanks, love. I mean, we don't need the other characters to win the miss it mission as long as, you know, we don't die. Look, Red's probably the best one for this anyway. She's got a basket to put the family jewels in after she picks them up. I wonder if we have to collect literally all of them, or if after he's done doing the thing, we'll just, like, get a rating based on how many out of the total we got. He's gonna... At some point, he's gonna, like, sit there and turn around or something. Yeah, right right there. Can't see where he's at. Why'd I let you forget your book? How did I let you forget your book? I wasn't even downstairs when you left for work today. <laughs> I don't think you can blame that one on me there, love. Okay, I saw him throw another one down there. Like he did last time he came up here. But I'm assuming he's going to walk all the way back down there again. Just make a, a second loop. Same as he did last time. 
Can't believe you didn't remind her about her book, I know. The book that I didn't know she was wanting to take with her today. How could I possibly have forgotten that? No, so we didn't even have to collect all of them or anything. That was... <laughs> that was a pretty lame mission, man. I'm not gonna lie. That one wasn't great. Of course, it starts us back over at the same spot every time. I didn't tell you to put it back in your bag. I didn't even know you took it out of your bag until I went to lay on the couch today and saw it on the uh, armrest of the couch. Shrek, why are you just breaking random shit, dude? God, how many of these missions do we have to do? Why are you just beating up that guy, man? What did he do to you? I thought maybe he was trying to hit that lamppost or something. Like, maybe there was stuff in it, but no. I think he just wanted to kick some random dude's ass. Like... <laughs> like, like what? What again? Like how she skips? I mean, she is Little Red Riding Hood after all. Uh, but anyways, guys, the ad manager is telling me that it's time for us to take a break. So I'm going to go ahead and stand up, stretch, get a drink, and do all that thing. I, I like the new stream not messages. What? I don't know what that means. Anyways, <laughs> as I was saying, we're going to go ahead and take our break real quick. I'm going to stand up, get a drink, do all that good stuff. I suggest you all do the same, and we'll be back in like three to five minutes. Okay. Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. Yeah, right. It does kind of actually look like Solid Snake. Good. Talk you know, those are games I've never played either. Any of the uh, Metal Gear games? I tried one of them. I feel like, but I've never played through a single one though. All right. So files. No, that's just telling us about shit. How do we go to? I mean, audio setup, but nope, nothing there. I mean, I don't know if Dolby Pro Logic works with this setup or not, but whatever, we'll leave it on. It's, I don't care. Uh, yeah, no, sadly, it doesn't look like, um, doesn't look like we have any subtitles at all. Uh, you would not like to load. Yeah, no, I don't want to. I don't want to load. Like I said, I did play this game not too long ago for the podcast, so I do have a save file. But we're gonna we're gonna start fresh here, man. Start from the beginning. Why do I have black bars on the top and bottom? I don't remember that being a thing. Hold on, let's go back into the screen adjust. Oh, that's weird. So if you have widescreen turned off. It just puts black bars to make it widescreen. Well, that's dumb. <laughs> that's so weird. I don't get it. Huh. Weird. Okay, so... R1 is aim. That's good. L1 is knife. The other buttons don't seem to do anything that I can remember. Triangle is map. And there we go. Okay. Didn't know if your butt needed censored. It's phrased. That's part of your daily, daily vocabulary. It really is. Please say up the A instead. I'd say the word, but I don't even want to talk to Autumn today. <laughs> oh, no. I don't think the auto mod is going to flag you for saying butt. Or ass. I mean, it might. <laughs> I feel like we've probably set that as an allowed term at some point. But, uh, I could be wrong. <laughs> the controls in this game are very weird, IMO, man. Like, I mean, like with all of the Resident Evil games, though, I imagine you would probably get used to it after a little while and then it wouldn't be all that bad. But, like, it's, uh, you know. <laughs> Fuck it, let's try ass. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. 
<laughs> See, there we go. It's all good, man. It made it through without a problem. You're Gucci. Uh, just... I mean, he said fuck and shit. Why wouldn't ass work? <laughs> I mean, Noodle's got a point, you know. Sorry to her father. I don't think he speaks uh, the English. <laughs> Automod's that big of an asshole, that's why. I mean, sometimes, but you know. Every time you say something sketchy in chat, Automod gets a, a little bit better, man. I hate the way aiming works in this game, too. I just... <laughs> It irks me so bad, man. Again, I imagine I'd get used to it if I played enough of it. But it's rough, dude. I almost wish they would have just kept the way it worked in Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3. But, I mean, I guess we never would have got, you know, Resident Evil 7 if they didn't start making changes. They had to, they had to start somewhere. Hable Espanol? Yeah. That aim looks like shit. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it does. And it is. Although, I mean, a lot of people seem to really love Resident Evil 4, though. Thank you for the bits, Mr. Noodle. I appreciate it, love. Um, so, I mean, like, you know, I'm I'm probably in the wrong here with my, my feelings toward it. But for me, at least, yeah, it, it's just, like, it doesn't feel nearly as good, man. We got uh, we got some monies. What's the, the check got for us? Just, he's not a zombie. That's all it says. I mean, that's good, man. <laughs> I think, like, my biggest problem with the aim... All right, all right. I'm back. Let's arrest these thugs, Excellent. shall we? You these thugs that are the running around like ogres in the streets. Or, not ogres, beasts. Beasts, I mean. <laughs> Don't want to offend our son-in-law here. So, wait, it's Shrek by himself? How would this work if you were playing multiplayer? Like, that would kind of suck if you had, you know, two, three, four people all playing or something. And suddenly, only one person could actually do anything. Can I not hit them whenever... Oh, am I supposed to be throwing them in jail? Maybe? Maybe? Yeah, okay, we're not trying to kick their ass. We're trying to throw them in the the cart here. Well, that makes a little more sense, because Shrek's the only one that can actually pick people up and all that. Why'd the game just pause? That was weird. I hope my controller's not fucking up. This is my only PS2 controller I have at the moment. I mean, I do have another one, but it stopped working all of a sudden on me. And then I have, like, some PlayStation 1 controllers. Those work with most PS2 games, but they don't work with all of them, sadly. Worked out of my benefit, though, that little fact there. I'm fairly certain that's how I was able to get one of the PlayStation 2s that I own for, for really cheap. Because I bought it off of uh, off of eBay, and the listing said that the controller port didn't work on it. I was like, ah, oh, well, I might be able to fix that. If not, I can use it for, you know, parts or something like that. So I'll, I'll take it. Uh, bought it, got it for a good price, put a game in it, loaded it right up, hit a button on the controller, and it just worked perfectly. Like, <laughs> had no problem at all. So my best guess is, is that they had plugged in a PlayStation 1 controller and then loaded up one of the games that isn't compatible with a PlayStation 1 controller. And uh, so they're like, oh, well, the controller port must be broken and just, you know, gave up there, sold it at a discounted price online and called it a day. When in reality, it was perfectly fine. It just some games you got to use an actual PS2 controller for my guy. Is 
Hey, that's weird. That mission, whenever we beat it, it didn't restart us from the beginning. It popped us up back uh, right where we accepted the mission at. Do these skeevers ever stop coming out of the sewer? Is this an infinite skeever generator? What's going on? No, okay. I was going to say, that's a, uh, a way to get infinite gold, I guess. Although it'd be awfully annoying, probably. You had to turn the video off. I was buffering forever. I apologize. Well, Cinderella's come I'll uh, try not to buffer so much. Will you protect her while she looks for a pair of glass slippers to go with her new fall look? Yes, we'll keep Cinderella safe oh, while she looks for a new pair of glass slippers. <laughs> Gonna grab the nice Matches my slow thingy. I'm assuming that'll help. More than anything else, like the ability to slow down time. I love how Red is just like running up against this mugger. She's like just grinding on him right now instead of actually trying to kick his ass or do anything helpful. So that makes sense. Also, if you have this many muggers in your town, dude, you might want to look at, at getting a better police force there, Mr. King of Far, Far Awayville. Seems a little ridiculous to have like a half dozen of them just running around at any given time. Do you want to open your, oh, the Squishmallow capsule thing that you got? Um, probably now. Seems like you need that little dopamine boost sooner rather than later. How do we know if she's being attacked other than just being able to see her? We don't have that much control over the camera because obviously it has to keep like everyone in frame at any given time. My husband. Ah! Ah! <laughs> there we go. After you finish your little pumpkin roll, dude, I want a pumpkin roll. We should make, I know Noodle, me and you are making cake here soon, but I would love some, uh, to make some pumpkin rolls one of these days. Pumpkin roll with a nice cream cheese icing. Or cream cream cheese filling. I don't I don't know exactly what goes in it. I know it's cream cheese base, but that's that's about all I know. <laughs> that's intimidating. Why is it like that hard to make? I've helped my mom make them before. I've never made them myself though. I feel like when I made them before, they weren't that bad at least. How much more shopping do you need to do, lady? Maybe we shouldn't have used all of our... Holy crap. There are so many of them all of a sudden. Okay, so that's her health bar up there. That, that glittery bar thing. Oh god, she's about to get hit. Uh, Fiona, Fiona, kick their ass, please. Nice save, Shrek. Nice colors. Matches my That code. Get him, get him, get him. That code. Behind us, let's go. I've been looking for that. The rolling seems scary. I mean, worst case scenario, it ends up being like a, a pumpkin cake style thing, right? It's not that big of a deal. Really hope this is the last wave, otherwise we're gonna fail this, man. It's not. Oh my god. Please, there's too many. There's too fucking many. Shrek, hit him! Don't let him beat up Cinderella, dude. 
matches my dress. That shirt is so not me. That coat says Cindy. That shirt is so not me. Shrek seems to have a really nice colors. Matches my dress. Large like a uh, really large hit range pattern hit box which is helpful with these big groups of people god there's still another wave uh donkey somebody Come on, there's like no shop windows left right this has to be the last one man God damn it. Oh no, she's being attacked. Okay, we're fine. We've got a cat wearing a bandana. That sounds cute, love. Do you like it? That's what's important at the end of the day. Nice color. Shrek, somebody fucking. Dude. I wonder if it's on sale. They're just like. <laughs> They're just watching these people walk right up to her and start beating on her. And they're, they're just walking up against them, just watching. Like, yeah, it's fine, man. I don't mind. They can they can just beat on her. I don't know we're charged with protecting her and all that, but no, it's fine. I'll just I'll just let them steal everything she owns. Like, fuck. <laughs> She's cute. Okay. So as long as you like it, that's fine. <laughs> Wonder what the next mission we're gonna have here is. More bullshit, probably. Let's go. Um, sir? Not an explosion. All the king's horses and all the king's men have struck out. Maybe your big ogre thumbs can help find the missing shells. Watch the peasants. They're feisty. Pick Humpty Dumpty eggshell pieces. Pick up. Go to the next level. Wait, so we right. we don't what have do to do any more of this shit? I mean, we'll do this one at least, I guess. And then we'll consider maybe going on to the next one. Okay, where do we find the eggshell pieces at? We have to find them in the level somewhere, or do we just have to kick everyone's ass? Like, do people drop them? Is this a finding mission or a killing mission? That's what I need to know. So far, I don't see any of them. I also can't move the camera. Why? Is it because Red's knocked out? Apparently, we got a piece. Where did we find a piece at? Maybe it's just seven waves of fights. I'm thinking it's just seven waves of fights, and each fight we do, we get, we get a piece. I don't think there's any actual finding we have to do here. Uh, although I may be wrong. Because we didn't get any pieces there whenever we beat that little group. Can we go up the stairs, please? Your break's over. Unacceptable. Okay, yeah, no. So we are actually trying to find the pieces. Good to know. So where are they hidden at? I would have thought there would have been some hidden on, like, these jumpy pads right here, but... Oh, there is one. I'm just... I'm either blind or the camera wasn't moving over far, far enough. The first time. But I was going up and down those. I guess I can't jump that high. You have to go finish recovering the store. Love you, bye. Love you, too. I hope the rest of your day goes a little bit better, love. Than what it has so far. Oh, you're very soft. How are these like common peasants blocking hits from Shrek? Like, 
It's great hulking ogre, and these common peasants are just like, nah, it's fine. There we go. Maybe Charlotte will bring good luck. Maybe. Let's hope so. I got my fingers crossed for you. So it seems like holding X on the jump pad does actually make us go a little bit higher, which is good to know. Rotten apple. Time slowing stuff. I don't really know how time slowing is going to help us in this situation, but obviously we'll take it. Um, well, knowing what I know now about the, the holding X actually increasing our jump height a little bit. Maybe if we go back over here, maybe we can go up the side of this building a little bit higher. Right here. Yeah, because I was trying to go left before and cut with Shrek, but... Wow, what? Dude, I felt like we had that. We got stuck on something. We just... There we go. Oh, it worked that time. Whatever. We got it in the end. We murdered all the peasants. We collected all of Humpty Dumpty's eggshells. And what do we get for our services? Not a damn thing. Still can't believe we didn't even find, like, a shop here anywhere. I'm a little bit curious. What's this last one gonna be? Oh, rat! The Pied Piper is here. He's gone piping mad. Will you get rid of him and all his disgusting vermin? <laughs> so we just gotta beat up the Pied Piper? Sure. Radical. Ra we'll give it a shot. And all the speeders. What was that sound, dude? Sound like a a tinny ass machine gun or something going off, like. <laughs> I I think there's some some collision problems here, man, with all this stuff like hitting off of each other and sounds overlapping or something. I'm pretty sure it's not meant to sound the way that it that it does. Yeah, it's like whenever we hit stuff, it makes a weird popping sound. And we're hitting so many things at one time, it's like... Sounds like a fucking set of firecrackers going off or something. Stage two. I'm waiting for, like, the king rat to come out or something like that, you know? Like a massive one. Something three times the size of Shrek. I mean, these rats are already pretty fucking big. They're about the size of donkey. Could you imagine if a rat just walked out of your wall somewhere or something? I guess probably crashed through your wall would be more like it. The size of a donkey? Like, some big ass rats, dude. <laughs> Not really scared of rats and mice and things like that, but in that case, I may have to I may have to take pause for a moment, man. I think that one would freak me out a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so both Shrek somehow and uh, Red are dead. We basically got this though. Yeah, there's one left. We're oh, he's dead. Oh shit! Now we gotta beat the Pied Piper himself, though. Oh. What? <laughs> All we did was touch him. Is it because we had time frozen? Did the game like glitch out or something? He just died instantly. Okay then. Well, I guess that's that.
This is the only way for us to go to the next level to go to one of the missions and then select the next level thing. I was thinking the level would still have like an end, you know? But it doesn't seem like it does. So, okay, where's the closest mission at then? So we can continue on forward, man. Yes, we know who your father is. Don't really care though, Fiona. Wait, can we not redo a mission? Okay, there it goes. Just took fucking forever. No, I just want to go to the next level, actually. If you don't mind, dude. Shrek. You're quite resilient. Fiona, why don't you show the others back to the castle? Curses! Plan B, then. Go to the poison apple and hire the ogre killer. Wait, you have an ogre killer just on staff? Like... That's princess power. How many ogres do you have to deal with in your day-to-day? -day? Dealings. Oh shit, hold on. Save the game. Can't believe we're already a quarter of the way done with the game, man. According to its own, like, tracker there. It's been... An hour and 20... Some... Hour and 28 minutes, it looks like. Like... <laughs> and we're already 25% of the way through it. It's a tiny game. ...stopping an inner city riot and helping a wannabe princess get her shopping done. Our hero headed back to the king's castle for a good night's sleep. Poor Shrek's evening would take a turn for the worse as he stumbled across Fiona's childhood diary. A devastated Shrek spent the night reading about Princess Fiona's dream of marrying a handsome prince with washboard abs, a chiseled chin, impeccable hygiene. Uh, in short, the anti-Shrek. Tired of being green and feeling ugly, Shrek decided to take a walk in the woods as his friends tried to cheer him up. Now, you Oka, ready for Mercy Frog? Hi, puss. Boots. Okay. Oh shit, we're getting right into it. Okay, I didn't even have the controller picked up yet. Oh, it's a it's a rhythm game. Okay. I was trying to I was trying to fight him. Oh, stop you like haggis. Don't get on an old bad side. He has a big ass health bar if this is the whole fight like is a rhythm game. I don't know if I'm having internet issues or if it's a problem with Twitch because I know I had seen some things about Twitch having problems earlier in the day, but I'm having a little bit of a, a little bit of a streaming problem. And then Noodle mentioned earlier having some some buffering issues. So I apologize if it's on my end, but I, sadly I think it's on Twitch's side. But I, I, I've noticed the past few minutes, uh, OBS has popped up a few times telling me that, hey, your connection's not great. You're getting some, some encoding lag. Or not encoding lag, but whatever kind it's called. I can't actually look at the moment. Oh, good. We didn't have to kill him, kill him. Uh, dropped frames network. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh no! Shrek's dead! Please tell me we don't have to start over. Okay, no, it's just switching to the next one. That's fine. That's what I give for looking away. I thought once we knocked him on his ass, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, we're fine. He's gonna join the cause now. We don't have to actually kill him. Nope, we gotta murder this dude. Mess with Poos, you get the boot. You heard it here first, man. Don't mess with that Poos, so you're gonna get a boot. Watch out for my 
I imagine the game is probably made for kids, but this <laughs> this rhythm section is stupidly easy. I say as I have an ogre sitting over there dead, but that that's different, man. I wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't because I was missing them. It's because I wasn't paying attention and I thought we were just fighting or running around or whatever. <laughs> Look at all the other. No one else has taken any hits. I just hate Shrek, apparently. I need to you. This also west, west lasts way too long for no reason. Yeah, I'm kicking your I like a good rhythm game, but it's playing the same song over and over again. There's no reason for it, man. There we go. Hope you like this jam. We're gonna listen to it for the fifth fucking time. <laughs> like, is he actually dead this time, or do we got to do it again? Looks like we're doing it again. Same song. Slightly different. It's a very similar song, but I don't think it's quite the same. We almost took a single hit there. Holy shit. They really upped the difficulty on us. Jokes. Obviously. Square circle. X. Square circle. Square circle. <laughs> Make it more engaging at least, dude. Give me like some things to do with the stick or something. How are you going to have the same song play six times in a row with the same slow ass um, rhythm sequence? I mean, at least the buttons aren't in the same exact order every time, I guess. That's <laughs> it's technically a bonus. dead, right? I don't see any health left on him. Just, he's dead, man. His health bar is past zero at this point. Is there like a certain number of sections you have to go through before the guy can go down? We're still hitting him and he has no health. What is going on? Is that it? No, why are we why are we still fighting? This should be the end of it, dude. This dude's dead. Puss ain't got no boots left. There it goes. I guess his hip box or not his hip box, his fucking health bar was just broken or something. Well, like you've been a bad little kitty. Please do not terminate me. I can take you to the Grande Fairy Madre. She is the answer to all your problems. I wouldn't trust the Grand Fairy Madres. I don't think she's actually going to solve your problem, Shrek. Just throwing that out there, dude. Yeah, I, I actually do want to save the game, you see. There we go. Override successful. Let's go. Uh, chapter select. Is this a real level now? I think so. So, Hopefully, to solve Shrek's problem, there'll be a shock. Our gang moved forward to Fairy Godmother's house, which was known for two things. It's pre-war colonial charm and the impossibility of getting inside without an appointment. Impossible, you say, huh? The only appointments today are Ms. Hood and a package from Jack and Jill's farm. We couldn't just say we were like we part of her entourage or something. Better yet, we can go to the farm and get the package. Yeah! I don't like the way Puss in Boots looks, man. He looks weird. The other characters, I feel like they rendered really well, but he looks really weird in this one. 
Uh, can I not collect that eyeball? There we go. Had to like force our hitbox out of bounds in order to actually grab a hold of it. I see the little counter showed up, so I figured there's probably a reason we want to collect them. But then that one like glitched just off the edge of the, the walkway there. I'm assuming walking into the spikes of death there wouldn't be good, so we'll go ahead and turn that off. Don't feed the fish. What happens if we feed the fish? Focus, focus. Pumpkins, focus. Come to life. Cause some strife. Uh, Shrek, do these pumpkins look a little funny to you? Nah. Donkey, they're just pumpkins. What he said. I was going to say this would be the perfect time for Fiona to freeze time again, because apparently that lets us insta-murder things, but, uh, turns out we didn't need it, man. That was <laughs> one easy-ass fight. What is this? Oh, just, just a gear. Okay. I thought it was a power-up or something. No, it's just... Just a gear, a little puzzle piece. You know kind of what this game makes me think of the more I'm playing of it? Like a, a slightly worse version of the, the Legos games. You know? Like it's the, the light-hearted, fun, run around. You can technically die, but like not really. You have a bunch of different characters from whatever movie franchise or whatever that you can run around and explore with and have fun with. Like, it really is like if the, the Lego games were just more, more linear, I suppose, than what uh, the ones that I've played have been, at least. Although, the little bit that I played of that Lego Star Wars one, it was pretty damn linear. Okay. Oh, wait. The <laughs> I don't think the cookie's going to work in this situation, actually. <laughs> can we can we break the barrel? Yes, thank God. What is this gear made out of? Metal. It's got to be metal. Shrek's having trouble picking it up, man. Uh, can we actually go back the other way, though? I happened to see there was some stuff over here that we kind of skipped out on. Even though I'm not trying to 100% the game, my inner completionist is telling me that I need to grab everything that I can easily do, at least. Timber! Watch this end up being the right way, and I'm just wasting my time. Oh, can we feed the fish now, too? What button is it? Triangle. They don't seem to mind. They seem to enjoy their cookie. Right before they were murdered, that is. Okay, so put you over here. Put boots over here. And jump. Okay. Kitty gets angry. I'm assuming we need Donkey to do his butt pound thing. There we go. Perfect. Get those golden eggs. So, they do... How much do they give us? So, we have 12, 10. So, 25. I mean, hey, it's something. I really wish we had that double coin thing. That would... Because since then, we've collected 600 more gold since we've gotten to 600. So we would still be at 1,200 right now, but every coin we get would have be given us twice as much. Oh, mama. Hence why I wanted to get that, that power up early. But since we've uh, come across that one shop, we haven't come across another one. I'm surprised they don't have like an option to do the shop in between the different levels.
you would think that like that section where we can look at the scrapbook and things like that, there would be a shop section there. Bro, we just turned them all into frogs? For one hit kills? Could you imagine like if you could actually just collect this stuff during the normal game to use it? Like have consumables? That would be sick. Like I wanna I wanna collect some some fucking potions and carry them around, dude. Just lob them at people from time to time. Get fucked. What are you? Are you a sheep? A, a humanoid sheep? What is that thing? It's nightmare fuel is what it is. Hello? Oh, good day, Chirio. Aren't you a sorry lot? Uh, and so good to meet you. Yes, yes. Oh, well, the name's William Gruff, and I wonder if you layabouts might escort me across the bridge. Sure. Why, aren't you a bunch of fine fellows? You're still kind of nightmare fuel, though, man. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit scared of you. Something about your design is just freaky as hell. I have more muscle in my baby toe. I'm assuming the goat dude and the rats don't mix. Kind of like the the mice, the three blind mice when we were escorting them. Oh, don't get hit. God damn it, donkey. Right, I'm dangerous and cute. Puss, can you make this jump? You can. Good job. Very impressed. What's the point of going over here? A seed. Just a seed. Well, I mean, we'll take it. I still don't know what collecting all the seeds does for us, if anything. In each level, other than give us another scrapbook page, which I gotta be honest, I don't really care about, man. Next. Hey sheep, maybe stay in the back instead of running straight to the front of the, the group. Just an idea, man. I mean, you do you, of course, but it seems like a good way for you to die, which would be really annoying for me. Thankfully, you survived. I don't actually know if he can take damage. I don't see, like, a health bar or anything for him. And so far, he hasn't been as... as well, I was going to say dumb, but I guess they're blind, so it's not their fault. Hasn't been like the mice, where they just run straight into danger constantly. Uh, Puss? Can you join the rest of the group, please? stand here and mash the X button or the square button, dude. Problem solved. Didn't have to do shit. <laughs> just, just hit X a couple times, or X, square a couple of times. And all the problems take care of themselves, man. I guess for escorting the dude, we got the golden eggs and, and the seed. I'm assuming if we hadn't, then that gate wouldn't have opened and we wouldn't be able to get in here. Collect the eyeball. Might as well. I'm not gonna lie, I was waiting for the gingerbread man to just walk straight into that saw blade. The way he was running straight forward, I thought for sure he was just gonna off himself, man. Okay, now would be a great time for Fiona.
the okay, the Gucci. Sorry guys, take care of yourselves, right? I need to collect some stuff. Oh, we have a split path. I don't know which way to go. Right or left? Uh, right for the win. Okay, no, I think left. <laughs> Not that it really matters. There's a bridge connecting the two together, so... Donkey, if you don't mind, I need you to do a little, a little kicky kick real quick. Not on the gingerbread man, preferably, but... You know, you do you, I suppose. Now, how do we get back over there? Can push jump higher? think so. Yes, yes, he can. Oh, we use the logs as a bridge when we cross this little thing. I gotcha. What's the invincibility power up here for? I don't even see any enemies to fight or anything like that. Unless, could we use that and then just walk through the saw blade instead of coming over here? I mean, maybe, but we can also just pull the lever. I'm assuming that'll... Look, yeah, give us a way across. Oh, there's the enemies. Look at that. Right on cue. They could have made the combat a little more visceral. Imagine this game, but with, like, Diablo combat or something, you know? It's not nearly as bad as the Nicktoons Unite, though. I don't think any game we play would end up being as bad as that game was, man. That game was rough and not in a good way. I see a little leprechaun dude, but I feel like he's going to make us pay to open the gate and not actually sell us anything. When all I want is to buy that power up, the double gold one. For fuck's sake, Shrek. Hit the thing. I wish the other player characters didn't have a, uh, a hitbox that we can run into. It'd make moving around a lot easier. How much do you want? 200 this time? I can tell that you're wanting to get past, but the hinges are a wee bit rusty, don't you know? I'd be willing to part with some of my magic oil, but with the prices these days, it's not going to be cheap. 200. Alrighty it. then. Let's see what's behind door number two, shall we? And now that you've stolen a lot of my gold, can I just buy regular shit from you? Is that an option, my guy? No. Lame. Track, pull the lever, please. Sometimes it feels like the game just eats your inputs, man. Oh, shit, that wasn't enough. Uh, die? It is easy being green. It's easy being green? What makes you think that? Because you can smash a barrel? <laughs> that... That makes being an ogre easy? I mean, at the end of the day, I guess you're the ogre here. Your word is better than mine, but uh, I don't think it quite works that way, my guy. The party ran into the saw blade. It was only a matter of time. I knew it had to happen sooner or later. Hey, guys, maybe don't run into the saw blade this time. Look, I can't pull the lever until I kill these guys, so... Or at least stun them. I guess a stun's probably good enough. There we go. Now you can come over safely. And Shrek's dead. <laughs> well... <laughs> What's the green one do? Oh, it turns them into frogs. Ah, oh, damn it, donkey. I probably could have used that. 
The chests really aren't dropping all that much gold anymore, are they? I feel like earlier on, whenever we were breaking chests in that first, second level, second level, we got like 20 gold from it or something. That last one dropped to what, three? Anything else hidden over here or no? No. Do me a favor, guys. Don't walk into the saw blade this time. Just stay put for a moment. Kind of wish Donkey would have got ran. No, 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 no. Shit. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> Of course, we're all the way back here. You gotta kind of like line yourself up properly with... With those uh, ropes, you can't just kind of run across and hope for the best, man. I'm, I'm hitting circle. I really am, I promise. There we go. Murder the frogs. The frog pumpkins. And the chest, because why not? Yeah, no, it really did. It only dropped, like, three. I mean, I didn't check our total before and after, but I only saw, like, three pop out of it. I feel like we're getting a little, a little jip there, dude. Not getting the full value of our of our chest each time we break it. Okay, maybe we should just leave Puss over here. <coughs> Excuse me. Just hopefully he doesn't die on those pumpkin bros over there. Maybe we should take control of him back, actually. I don't trust him doing it himself. Uh, uh, okay. We actually do need him again. Pull the lever, puss. Quickly, before Shrek decides to run over top of it. The, the spinning saw blades of death. More like shredder blades, I guess, huh? Than saw blades. Those ones there in the ground. You guys ever watch like Shredder videos on YouTube? I find them super satisfying. Especially like the big ones where they drop entire computers and uh, small cars and shit like that into them. Those ones are a lot of fun to watch. You drop them down in there and they just disappear. Oh, you the again. The on the bridge is going to kill me. I don't deserve to die for what I did, eating the troll's tin cans. Won't you help me? Why would you eat the troll's I'll tin cans, man? I'll always remember you guys in my prayers. I promise. I accept gold. Instead of, instead of keeping me in your prayers, the gold would be great. Where is this mysterious, creepy troll at? Oh, well, there goes Puss. Hopefully we don't need him again. Oh, he came back to life. It's fine. Hey, gingerbread man. You want to maybe, like, take care of some of these dudes? Good job. Now, I'm assuming we can... Yeah, okay. I was going to say, I'm assuming we can jump over here. Did we actually get all of the the things this time? The magic beans, seeds, whatever they were? Uh, run away. Now kill it. I mean, that'll work.
All right, time for another moment that I like to call mashing square, dude. Too fucking easy. Did Donkey just say don't hit me, hit the big green guy? Wait, where's the... Where's the goat? Did we... Did he die? Did we lose him? What happened? Uh, game? I said... Oh, he must have... He must have died. Okay, so he can die. But there's nothing stopping us from just clearing the whole thing first and then coming back. Hey, I love you. Hey, I love you too. I'm assuming you want something. <laughs> if you do, that's fine. Just what do you need? I think... There's the leprechaun, bro. Can we jump over to him again you bought another one? <laughs> oh god what'd you get this time love to crazy larry's leprechaun shop ah uh, he has different stuff <coughs> well i don't want <laughs> i don't want any of your stuff this time i want the double damn gold I guess we're going to have to go back and do that other level again. Or at least, like, part of it. Um, that wasn't me. I switched characters. He did that to himself. And we have to do the whole thing over again? Bro. Oh, that's annoying as shit. Pink unicorn with a chef's hat? That sounds... Amazing love. <laughs> Are you getting your dopamine hit at least? Is it working? You feeling better yet? There's a donut on the hat? We all know how I feel about donuts, dude. Love me a good donut. You do feel better? That's good. As long as you feel better. That's all that matters. Put us into massive amounts of debt with your Squishmallow uh, surprise bag obsession. But you feel better, so it's okay. <laughs> I'm joking. Those things are only a few dollars and you probably paid for it with your own money. So I'm just going to clear everything, I think, and then run back and get the guy. The the GoPro. Five dollars? Oh. Five, five dollars each, I'm assuming is what you mean. It's not that bad for a blind bag thing. I don't really understand the blind bag things. I mean, I guess for me, the closest thing would be like Pokemon cards or something like that. No, you piece of shit. I... I crossed the rope just fine. I got like stuck on a piece of geometry or something and it kicked me off the fucking side of the, the hill there. I'm starting to get annoyed. <laughs> Haven't had any problems with the game up to this point. This point is, is really getting on my nerves. All right. Candy, can't not candy man, ginger man, gingerbread man, whatever the fuck you are. Okay, collect all the things. Grab donkey. Donkey can break quickly. I didn't realize it even has the little like the the symbol for donkey kick. The uh, what do you call that? Horseshoe? Would it be a donkey shoe in this case? I don't know. Let's try not to die for the third time in the same damn area. Just 
try, that is. No guarantees. Okay. Walk across the thing. Nice and gentle like. Yeah, see? The geometry is like broken here. You can't just walk. You gotta jump up there. So I, half paying attention, thought, oh yeah, we should be fine to walk up there. Nope. Alright, donkey, your turn. I don't even think the chests are worth it anymore, dude. Okay, now we gotta carry that thing all the way back over here. The... Gear. Might as well go ahead and grab the goat, too, since we gotta walk... Mm, fuck, three quarters of the way back anyways. Try not to fall and die. That would be embarrassing. I'm not jumping over there to get the gold this time. Because I don't want to risk dying and having to redo everything. Because we missed a jump. Oh. Yes. You have no idea how to pronounce that one's name? How do you spell that one's name? I probably won't be able to properly pronounce it either. Hell, I struggle pronouncing just normal words. But I can try. You know, if you didn't run so far ahead, you'd probably uh, have a better chance of not dying, Mr. GoPro. Oh wait, is this all the farther you needed to go? We don't get anything for getting you over here? Or is it just... What? <laughs> Zanya? I have no idea. That's that's my best guess. Zanya and Kiana? 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 Ken Kiana? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Wait, isn't that a... Wouldn't that have to be a different goat? Um. Okay, so he's gonna throw bombs. I'm assuming we have to kick the bombs back at him using... I'm assuming donkey, but... Maybe like Shrek... Oh god, okay, so he hits him back and forth. Maybe anyone will work to, to kick him back. That's probably too far away. Damn it, dude. Okay, so we want to wait until right before it blows up, I guess. What was that, dude? <laughs> Why did it go so sideways? I think the donkey kick is our best bet. Because Puss in Boots is like knocking it crooked as hell. Damn it, man. I really hope we just have to hit him with, like, one. That hit him? I can't tell if it did or not. There we go. That one hit him. Uh, are we fighting him or running away from him? running. Okay. Interesting ideas for boss fights in this game, but they're not, like, really pulled off all that great, are they? Is he gonna come again? He's coming again. Maybe. Is he? No. He's just, he's just standing there for a minute. Had to collect his thoughts, you know? He's not exactly the smartest troll in the world. 
Too far? Too far. There we go. Please tell me that's the end of the level. Maybe. I mean, we collected... No, it's not. Holy shit, dude. This level is so much Looks longer like than the, the other ones. Stuck. An act of death-defying danger? Wet, narrow ledges that could lead to a horribly gruesome death? This sounds like a job for a true swashbuckling hero. Puss in Boots, come on down. You're the next contestant on Hero Time. I don't think you need to stroke his ego, man. If there's one thing Puss in Boots has enough of already, I think it's ego. But our ad manager's telling us that it's time to take a break. So we're going to go ahead and take a quick break, guys. And then after that, we'll deal with the hero time. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking stupid. Anyways, we'll BRB. It's over the shoulder. Which, I mean, there's, there's third person games, of course. But, like, you don't aim straight down the center of the screen, though. You aim around to the sides and whatnot like the camera doesn't consistently move with you and it's just uh yeah it's weird man it feels weird looks like they've killed a lot of people i hope ashley's okay Mhm. Mm that's a nice little closet you got under the stairs there is that where uh harry potter grew up <laughs> good gods the trophies they have <laughs> Yeah, I don't know the full story for this game, but I think it was like they don't have the 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 zombie virus, whatever the hell it's called. I don't remember at this point, but like they I believe they do have some sort of infection and then there's like this whole cult thing going on or something like that. I don't know, man. It's weird. I do want to play through it though because I want to play all of the other games eventually, and uh, I mean you gotta you gotta play them in order, right? Like that's just that's just how it is, man. Oh, is there someone behind me? This is when we get a, uh, a GG a game over. Just shoot them. I want to save my ammo because I know that there's gonna be times later in the game where I'm gonna really wish that I had the ammo, but uh, I'm also as you can see, freaking bad at the game. Freaking hit him! I I don't feel like we actually dodged that, but hey, it worked somehow, so... <laughs> oh, this is another thing that really annoys me. Here's a chest, right? You can't just press X to open it, like you would with a, a normal freaking game. No, you gotta you gotta aim your, your uh, knife at it, and then freaking hit it. You gotta bust it open, like freaking Legend of Zelda or something like that, busting open pots left and right. <laughs> and like if you just had a dedicated attack button i don't think it would bother me so much but because in this game you gotta like pull out your knife pull up your knife and then hit them with it that bothers me like just let me hit a button and get into the chest man i would much prefer that like <laughs> for real sounds like At outlast 2 i've never played any of the outlast games there's a lot of games surprisingly with how many games i own and have played there are a lot that i've never actually played you know Got some characters to max and all the companion quests done. All playable characters and all community requests done in Fairy Tale. Still not done though. Holy shit, man! How long have you been playing that game now? It's up there. You've uh, you've put some time into it, man, for sure. Why that makes no sense? I tell me about it. <laughs> so yeah, these dudes kind of got a little uh, just a little fucked up, you know. Kind of feel bad for them. They're down there now. Everybody wave hello <laughs> to to our good friends that drove us here. It was very kind of them to do so, but uh yeah. No. We'll just uh pretend that didn't happen and go this way instead. Rip. <laughs> About 60 hours? Damn, man. I mean, I'd say you got your money's worth at least, right? That's even if you paid full price, that's a dollar an hour, you know? Like that's it's not bad at all. And I imagine you probably play or paid closer to like 50 if I had to guess. So, ah, uh, poor doggy. You gotta save the doggy. Always save the doggy. 
I think it does something saving the dog, but I don't know what. Outside of the fact that it obviously also, you know, warns you that, hey, there's traps around here. Maybe don't fall in them. It'd be nice if I could see the ground in front of me, though, so I didn't end up getting uh, hit by a trap. But it's probably going to happen. Also, explosives. Those are another thing. People really don't seem to want you to come into this area, man. I don't know. I say we just uh, do what they want and stay the hell out. You know? I feel like we should have hit them with the first one. I want to be able to pick up their freaking weapons and, like, wing them at people or something, man. It's kind of bullshit they get these, like, long range. Hello, hello, everyone. We're back for our hero time. Let's fucking go, dude. Uh, no, not not character info. Don't care about character info. <laughs> okay, so I'm assuming we just got to get to the end, right? I mean, we could try and collect the gold, but I think I'm over collecting the gold already. <laughs> Will the fish actually, like, knock us down? They will. Good to know. Okay. Thankfully, there doesn't seem to be, like, a limited number of lives or anything like that that we have to deal with. We just gotta be careful of the fish. Is there... There's no, like, marker or anything I can see to tell when, when or where the fish are gonna come from. There's probably, like, some collectibles that we could try and get as we're doing all this but I don't think I care <laughs> that was pretty cool I like the little slidey section why don't we have more of those man a golden egg whatever I've always liked those types of sections in games like uh... shit what's it called Ratchet and Clank and whatnot. Don't forget you. I've never forgotten you, you weirdo. <laughs> I'm not gonna forget you. Okay, wait for the fish. I think we're at the top. I don't want to die now. Let's go. You'll cry if you do tonight. <laughs> I'm not gonna forget you. I'll be there to pick you up, I promise. That was a shorter section than I thought. We probably could have done that before the break, but oh well. Save the game. Last thing we want to do is lose any progress. Yes, I'm sure. Overwrite successful. Thank you. Thank you. Chapter select. What do we got? Jack and Jill's farm. So that's what? The halfway point? One, two, three, four, five, six. And then there's one, two, three, four, five left. And so our this game really is short. Overlooking miles of rolling farmland, for it seems the water Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch had magical properties. Despite Jack's broken crown and a possible skull fracture, he and Jill realized organic farming could make them a lot of gold. And they were right, because really, who doesn't like a nice, juicy, all-natural salad the size of a dragon? A really fat dragon. I mean, seriously, look at those carrots. That's a big salad. It's organic farming. It's the answer to everything, apparently. Jack and Jill know what's up, man. Can we, like, steal yeah, some of their apples or something to throw them at people? No. I guess it's only only Little Red that's able to, to throw crap at people. I can still just destroy all of their produce, though. For the hell of it. God damn, those are some giant carrots, man. That one carrot would feed a person for like a week. Hi, Mr. Cow. Why so sad? Do we... The, the gate being like cow colored is confusing me a little bit. I'm assuming we just kick it with donkey like we do anything else, but... I thought for a moment maybe we would have to do something with the cow. Oh shit, maybe we do have to do something with the cow. Okay. Um. Ah, oh, we just had to hit it again. 
Oh, jeez, okay. He's got a, a super version of the donkey kick, man. Violence Don't want to piss them problem. cows off. They'll knock your head clean off. Is there another cow around here somewhere? On the other side of the bridge, of course. Can't help but notice that so far this level is very empty as well, you know? It's not really a puzzling section or anything. It, honestly, it feels like they were just kind of lazy with this section. They were they were tired of designing the game by now, and they were just they were over it. <laughs> Let's just I don't know maybe throw some cows in here or something, and you can you can smack the cows to get them to do things. Collectibles? No. What the hell is that, man? We'll just have some giant vegetables for people to to beat on. That should be good enough. Can we hit the thing without collecting the seed? Because I don't really care about collecting the seed. No, we can't get high enough. Son of a bitch. Shrek, grab the box, please. Put the box on this giant tree stump of a carrot here. More cookies. Can we use the cookies to distract the bees? Ooh. Oh, we can't. And there's a bug zapper, too. That's cool. Hi, three little pigs. You hey, guys are no, annoying no, as hell in the movie. No, we are taking care of this place. It's Jack and Jill are on vacation. Yeah, but we are not so good. We are lazy and pig out all day. Can you help us with some chores? Only if one of those chores includes delivering the package to Fairy Godmother's house. You've got a deal. Just walk around the farm and look for one of us to get another troll. So it's like that last level we, or not the last level we did, the one before. Then uh, far, far away. We're just running around doing little mini mission things. We piggies need to get our water from a well at the top of Jack's Hill. But it's being guarded by giant tomatoes and these absolutely infernal pumpkins. It's very dangerous. Last week, my Uncle Hans went up there and came back as a side of bacon. Will you Ooh, help bacon us? sounds good, dude. Help the pigs get the pail of water, sure. I don't think I really have an option here. <laughs> I think I kind of have to. Hey, Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. Wait. Why are we doing this as gingerbread man? Also, why can't I throw my thing? Oh, okay, it is working. Just when it wants to. Nope. Wait. What is this? Is this the devil went down to Georgia? I don't know how well the music's coming. Oh, shit. Well, we're fine. I don't know how well the music is coming through here, but this sounds like the devil went down to Georgia playing in the background, dude. Wait, what am I trying to do here? I mean, I'm assuming I need to get to the other side, right? But... How? Can I... I guess I can just jump that? Yeah, okay. Oh, okay, we Gucci. Two tomatoes go. Watch us die on the pumpkins here at the end, man. Since I took a hit like a dumbass, standing underneath one of the the tomatoes as it fell on my face. Oh god, we're so dead. We're so dead. I fucking knew it. <laughs> I knew it, dude. Start over from the beginning. Probably start over from the beginning. Yep. Okay, maybe don't stand under the thing as it falls on us this time. Uh, wait for another one. We probably could have made it, but... I'd rather not do this a third time. 
Also, why the hell are you putting your... Are we getting... Fetching the water? Is that what we're doing? Why the hell is the water all the way at the top of this mess? That's a precarious-ass uh, path to follow every day just to fetch a pail of water, my guy. I wonder if the cookies work for these things. Do, do pumpkins like cookies? Oh god, I thought we were dead. I didn't think we made that jump for a second. Is this GG? Yay! Okay, do we gotta take the pail back down? No, we just had to collect it. Alright. One side quest down. What's that say? Does that say cornfield? Uh, donkey, this looks like a moment for you, my guy. I see a bunch of rotten looking apples. What are we, what are we doing here? What's our what's our actual goal? Why are we here? Are we just destroying all the bees' nests, or so they didn't give us a mission this time? We just kind of came over here. What about the apples? Do we need to destroy them? Okay, yeah. So we're collecting we're collecting worms for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> like, what is that doing for us? Couldn't tell you. But we're doing it. Okay, we haven't gotten to the actual cornfield yet. I'm assuming that's where we'll get our, our little mission at. Uh, I don't care enough to really try and get that. I tried once, I failed, that's good enough. <laughs> Don't care anymore. Is this gonna be another fucking chicken collecting thing? I hope not. I don't care for the chicken collecting. Stop! Help! Beasties! They're in the cornfield! Got your attention, didn't I? Listen, these clusters are eating the entire harvest. You guys mind giving me a hand here? Oh, I guess not. Great. But careful you don't kill them. I don't want a field full of poultry, guys. Get it? It's like poltergeist, but with poultry. A poultry geist. So hilarious, man. Okay, so maybe... Get ten... Okay, so we just have to hit them once. And they just fly back home. That's not too bad. It's a hell of a lot better than all the times we had to, like, pick them up and throw them around and shit. Wait, why did that go down? Did I hit a button somewhere, or is it just on a timer? Yeah, whatever. So far, so good. I'm assuming it'd probably be good to kill everything first and then find more of the chickens. I don't want, like, the pumpkins or, or something to start attacking the chickens because he specifically said, like, don't kill them. So I don't know if he just means, like, me, I can kill them or if the environment can kill them as well. Oh, more worms? Uh, sure. I mean, we'll take it, I guess. Any chickens over here hiding? No. Mm. 
very slowly run all the way back over here. That's going to start spinning. That's fine. We'll wait. We got nothing but time here, dude. This looks like a good job to put some boots. And just mash square for a minute. No strategy required here, man. Just keep hitting square and in no time at all. Look at that. Dude's dead. We missed one. It's fine. We got it. All right, put some boots. Start beating on that frame rate though man <laughs> oh you know what maybe cookies cookies are where it's at dude these chickens love cookies any more two and last one well that was surely an engaging ass uh mission there. I'm so glad we accomplished that, man. We missed a worm, and I am not replaying all that to get it. So, <laughs> looks like we're not collecting all the worms this time around. One more mission. We got this, man. Can I, can I just, like, walk around it? Yeah. Screw the rest of you guys. God damn it. <laughs> Just beat the things. Like, obvious carrots in front of you. You can break them. I shouldn't have to take control of you and you make you do it. Are you, you're booing me for not replaying that chicken level? <laughs> Get over it. Not happening. <laughs> I ain't doing it. Is this the haystack? Is that what it said? And before this is a uh, quick time event rhythm game mission that lasts way too long. Oh my god. Don't be mean to me, I'm fragile. Not even really being mean to me, Beardo. Oh my god. Just die. Donkey kick. What do we got? Anything over here? It's probably going to be a worm. Nope, it's a magic bean. Oh, nope, there's our worm. Thank goodness we collected another worm. We're never going to collect all of them, but at least we got that one. The last year's favorite sewing needle. We are playing find the needle in the haystack. Turns out it's really hard. Can you help us? Sure, little piggy. Why the hell not? Let's help now you find a needle in a haystack. Chili chin chin. So how do we do this? Do we just have to break them all? Break them all without dying to the rats? Or do the rats, like... Will the rats somehow steal the needle or something? What's the point of the rats? I guess maybe they're just here to offer a little bit of challenge. So instead of just breaking stuff, we also have to, like, not let everyone die. Do they do they rebuild haystacks? Do Jack and Jill train rats to build haystacks for them? Where is it at? There it is. Holy shit. Everyone's dead. <laughs> Those rats almost kicked our ass, man. There we go. We did all the missions. What do you want from us now, little piggies? Do we kick it open? No. over here oh good now we have an actual level to play through too I thought that seemed awfully short god forbid that be the end of it
Uh, I'm assuming we have to jump over the spikes. Spikes aren't usually good. I love how, like, uh, Donkey and Gingerbread Man and whatnot were attacking when there was no one close enough to them to even hit. Like, just randomly attacking things for... I, I honestly don't know why. All right, puss, you're up. Hit the lever. I'm not even sure what we're doing at the moment. Are we trying to... Do we need to find the pigs now that we did everything? Are they... Are they hiding from us? How did they make it through all this shit? Well, there's one of the pigs there. Maybe he'll give us some details. The other pigs have accidentally cut down Jack's beanstalk. They thought it was a dandelion. I'm trying to grow another so Jack won't notice, but those filthy rats keep eating it. Can you help me? I uh, I guess. I thought we were done with all the little side stuff, though. Did, didn't they say we only had to do three? Maybe there was, like, three that were necessary, and now the rest of it's optional? I honestly don't know. I'm just guessing here. They really need to, like, invent some rat poison in this universe or something, man. These rats are starting to take over. You just forever have to help the pigs now? I fucking hope not. <laughs> that would be really useful. Like a spin attack or something. So we could just stand here by the by the beanstalk and endlessly spin around. The rats don't seem to give a shit about the uh, about the cookie. We might lose this. That was really close, man. Cool, we did it. Do we get anything for doing it? No. <laughs> no, we don't. Okay. <laughs> Just did it for the hell of it, I guess. Awesome. Love it. Come here, cow. Get your ass up. And on the other side of the carrots, nothing. I love it. I need to make it. I kind of want some roasted carrots or something. Need to buy some produce okay. soon. Um, how do we... How do we fix this? Om nom nom, yes, I agree. Om nom nom. Oh, there's a lever right there, hidden in the fucking bushes, dude. Or the, the tall grass, rather. We probably pull that. There we go. Head on through, Bessie. Oh, fuck. Spinning barrel. My sworn enemy. I can't fucking see, dude. <laughs> I can't. I don't know what's going on. Okay, the barrel's spinning. All these people are in the way. Uh, okay, you can go over there. Bessie, go. No, Bessie, what are you do? <laughs> God damn it. There we go. Now will you go kick down the, the gate? Thank you. Alright, we're here. God damn it. Uh, 
I'm gonna regret this. Yes, we'll do it. And then we're going to the next level. Actually, then we're probably gonna call it a night. Oh, Jesus. Okay. What? <laughs> How have I not caught a single one yet? Like, the, the character I'm actually controlling, I mean. It looks like we need to actually be in front of. I think we need to stand on the blue part. I thought we had to get the basket on the blue part. Yeah. Okay. That's why we're missing them. I mean, like, it's a circle. I thought that's, you know, that looks to me like where the egg's gonna land at or whatever. How many do we need to catch? Oh, we still got another 40 seconds of this. Why? I mean, I know why. The yeah. egg. Because we want an omelet, apparently, but... How many can this basket even hold? It's looking pretty full, cool, dude. I'm sitting at 42. I'm thinking this is probably going to be enough. Eggs sound good, too. Maybe that's what I'll have for dinner tonight. Okay, we got it. Oh, we were just trying to go against the other ones? Oh, well. <laughs> okay. So suddenly it was a versus mode? Sure. That makes sense. You like catching eggs, yeah? No. Where were you when Humpty needed you? I don't like catching eggs, actually. I just want to go to the Thank next you level. The You're welcome. Jack would have made chops out of us if you didn't help. Yeah. Now takes us to live to fair godmother. You know what, guys? I think I'm going to stay behind and get some flour. Oh, okay. Why? What do you need flour for? Are you trying to pad yourself out, make yourself bigger? I don't... <laughs> Anyways, guys, we could probably get away with doing one more level. But if we look at the chapter select, we've done six. And there's only four left. Or no, have we done seven? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yeah, no, we've done six. There's five left. So we're like just over halfway through the game. So I think, considering that it is like 20 till, that it's probably a pretty pl good place to call it for the night. And next Wednesday, we should be wrapping up this game and picking the next one that we're going to play. Uh, real quick before we go, let's go ahead and take a look at where those games are at. I'm not adding... Well, I guess I'll go ahead and add the votes from today. And I might as well, right? Go ahead and switch over to the right view real quick. Transition. There we are. Uh, so what votes do we have from today? We have Metal Gear Solid 2 for the games to complete list. I move to an Metal Gear 